Hello everyone and welcome back to Corpus Flight. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a broken sound overview of Zephyr AIO. So let's go ahead and begin today's video. Before we go ahead and begin today's video, if you want to go ahead and check out a written overview regarding this video, I leave it linked at the top of the YouTube description. On that page, you will find a lot more information regarding this video. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to begin on the settings page and then make my way throughout the box. Before I go ahead and do that, if you guys want to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, I'd highly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and begin. So before we go ahead and jump into it, at the moment, you can't really scale the window. This is as big as it gets, I'm pretty sure. Go around the sides here, you can see there's no full screen button either. You can minimize, you can X out. It shows their logo, the title of the bot, and the clock time based on your local computer time. Then at the bottom, it shows the current version number and it says it's on the latest version. Let's move over to the settings page here. You have the account section in which it shows your type of key. I'm an FNF member. It shows your Discord API binding to the key, your Discord username, and your license key. You can view it by clicking this button here. Then we have the sound and desktop notification section. You can go ahead and click this to actually have it explain what this is. So this is play sounds during these actions. You can turn it off or on for successful checkout, solve capture, and desktop notifications. Then you have other settings. Once again, you can go ahead and hover over this and I'll tell you what it is. Insert third party capture solution keys here and log task notifications through a Discord webhook. So you can go ahead and configure these fields if you wish. You can test your webhook, you can export your data, import your data, save settings, and deactivate the key. Let's move over to the account section. This is where you can go ahead and load accounts into the bot. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create a list here. We're going to select a store and we're going to go ahead and select a random store. Let's do ACD gallery and the accounts are in the formation email password. So we do john at gmail.com and the password could be 123 so that is one account create account list as you guys can see it gets created the website is here the user is here the password is blurred out you can view it by clicking this and hide it by clicking that and the action you can go ahead and delete it then you have the create accounts button you can delete your account list you can go ahead and import and you can go ahead and export your account list if you wish so if you click this button you can go ahead and navigate through the variety of sites that are supported within the bot and go ahead and add accounts for them so we added one account for acd gallery we can add accounts for babe us we can go through a bunch of sites here and add accounts moving over to the zephyr monitor section this is where you can go ahead and view their monitor section within the bot now you can go ahead and view items as they come into the monitors here let's go ahead and look at this one we have an item it shows the picture it shows the title you can click on this to go to the actual item it shows the size the time it dropped it's a retail you can click random if you want to go ahead and inject this into your tasks you can use fsr if you wish with your task and you can also mass link as well obviously you have to go ahead and select a group for that to work in the settings but that is how that works so if i were to go ahead and click this for example as you guys can see it takes me to the item here the link isn't found but that's how the system works and you can go ahead and filter through a bunch of categories here foot sites supreme us supreme eu and supreme japan as you guys can see now on the configure button if you click this this way you can go ahead and configure the advanced settings as well as your quick task settings so you can go ahead and select a quick task profile a quick task proxy the mode the amount the mlc task groups then you can go ahead and filter the keywords and you can go ahead and select these stores as well if you wish and then you can go ahead and save the settings the expand button will go ahead and create a separate window for zephyr monitor so you could have this up on your task page so you can go ahead and see all the items jump through whilst you're on your task page instead of having to navigate over to this page individually moving over to the capture solver section this is where you can go ahead and create new capture solvers let's hit the new capture solver button we can go ahead and configure the solver type i'm going to do it for supreme here we can enter the email address so let's do john at gmail.com and you can go ahead and enter a capture proxy in the formation ip ports using a password hit create capture solver and that will go ahead and create it we can start the solver here it will go ahead and prompt you to sign in via google let me just pop that up again sorry you obviously you go ahead and log in and then the capture solver will work you can go ahead and edit this capture solver if you wish and you can update the capture solver once you made your changes and you can also delete it as well moving over to the proxy section this is where we can go ahead and create proxy lists and go ahead and enter proxies 
into those lists and we can also test them as well i'll go ahead and break everything down but when proxies are entered they'll be separated under the following headers proxy username password speed and the actions associated with that proxy so let's go ahead and create a new proxy list here let's call it video test and i'm going to go ahead and enter a proxy in here i'm pretty sure this doesn't work i want to blur it out anyway create a proxy list and that will go ahead and create the proxy list now as you guys can see if i hit select proxy list and hit that list we can see the proxy list gets appeared here we can see the proxy is all there i've blurred it out but it is there and the speed is not tested because we've yet to test it we can go ahead and export this to clipboard by clicking this button and that will go ahead and export to our clipboard then we can go ahead and delete this proxy as well we can edit the list by clicking this button we can delete it with this button we can export it to clipboard we can also import proxies as well we want to go ahead and test the proxies we can select a store here let's select something random and we can go ahead and test the proxies and as you guys can see it goes through the test process i don't expect this proxy to work so obviously it's going to return failed but that is how this process works and another important feature of this page is removed bad proxies so let's say you have a list of 200 proxies and you're unaware of which ones are bad and which ones are good obviously you can go ahead and test all of them by using this feature down here and removing the bad ones so if this was in a list and it, as you guys can see it has failed i'd go ahead and remove this proxy moving over to the profile section this is where we can go ahead and create profiles within the bot so we have a test profile already created but i do want to go through the profile creation process so i'm going to create a new one i should also mention you can search for your profiles once you've created them as well let's go ahead and hit new profile and we have three sections here shipping billing and card information information i'm going to go ahead and fill all this out and cut back when the profile is just about to be created i don't really need to go ahead and break anything down during this process if i do see anything that's worth mentioning i will mention it but for the most part this is pretty self-explanatory stuff so one thing to mention here is that if you want your billing information to be the same as shipping hit true here and you'll be good to go and if you want one checkout you can also go ahead and enable this for this profile if you wish i'm going to keep it as false so i'm going to hit the create profile button and that will go ahead and create my profile so as you guys can see it says the profile name it shows the type of card it shows my full name it shows what my card ends in and it shows the address line one here we can duplicate the profile we can delete the profile and we can also edit the profile if we wish then we have a delete button up here if you want to go ahead and import profiles then you can we're going to go ahead and skip over the task page and we're going to conclude the video on that page but let's go over to the home page here and this is what it looks like so on this page you can go ahead and view all your checkouts all your declines and all the money spent in a collective overview if you want to see it for a specific type of site so shopify supreme foot size or finish line you can go to filter it at the top and then obviously the statistics will update accordingly and you have a little diagram here so it shows the x-axis uh, in accordance to the months and the y-axis is the number of checkouts then below that you do have the change log for the current version we are on and it shows that we're on the latest version you can go ahead and read that if you wish and then over here we have the orders within the bot it says here get some checkouts for the section to work when we do get checkouts it shows the name store size and price for the order to conclude today's video we're going to be talking about the task page there's a lot to break down here so let's go ahead and break it down we're going to click the new task group and we're going to create one we're going to call this video supreme test just like so when it comes to the store you can go ahead and filter it at the top so we're currently on shopify we can move over to supreme foot sites or finish line we want to go with supreme so we're going to go with the supreme section here we can go obviously go ahead and select the store so i'm in eu so i'm going to hit eu if you're in japan hit this if you're in us hit this click that we can go ahead and configure the monitor delay timeout and error delay create task group as you guys can see it's created x out of this go to the group and this is what it looks like we can go ahead and expand the group so we can show the checkout declines the number of tasks casting and the number of tasks that are on a error so on the page you can go ahead and view it the theme goes ahead and adjust according to the site color base obviously that's a cool feature with supreme it's red that's why it's red here we have the monitor delay timeout delay and error delay once you make changes you can save it you can delete the group you can create a task and when you create a task the following details will fall under these headers product variance profile proxy list status and actions associated with that individual task let's go ahead and create one before we do that final thing you can go ahead and utilize the collective action buttons at the bottom for this group so we have the start all stop all and delete all buttons let's create a task 
we're going to use the video test profile here. You can use all profiles if you wish, or you can use multiple, it's completely up to you. We're gonna go with video test profile. We can go ahead and use our proxy list. I'm gonna go with no proxy given our list didn't work. For keywords, I'll just do box. I don't intend for this task to work. For size, I'll do random. You can select multiple if you wish. For color, leave empty for random. Let's go with random. For minimum price and maximum price, this is useful if you don't know the price of an item and you know that you have a budget here, so you can go ahead and utilize that if you wish. I'm not going to go ahead and do so. For the mode, we have release and restock. Let's go with restock here. And for amount of tasks, we'll create two. Create new tasks, and it goes ahead and creates it in the background. So it shows the product, it shows the variant, profile, proxy list, and the status. Now for actions, we have the start button, the stop button, the edit button, the duplicate button, and the delete button. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the delete button. This is what it looks like. The duplicate button is by clicking this. It'll go ahead and duplicate the task. Obviously, you can go ahead and delete it. You can edit it. Once you edit the task, go ahead and hit the update task button. You can start the task. It'll go through the process. Looks like it did latch onto a product here by the looks of it. You can go ahead and pause the task at any moment as well. And when you run the task, you can see the status as well. Now we're going to go ahead and break down the mass control. So let's open it up here. And now as you guys can see, we can create groups for different types of sites here. So we have Shopify, Supreme and Foot Sites. Now let's say for example, I have multiple groups open. I have two Shopify and three Supreme. And I want to make changes to my Supreme groups. All I want to do is hit Supreme here, then I can go ahead and change everything. So we can filter by task groups, we can change that, you can filter by store, you can change the keywords, you can change the size. So let's say for example, I want to go for larges, make changes, and it says here you must select a task group or store to target. So let's go ahead and select the task group here, make changes, and as you guys can see, it goes ahead and updates the tasks. Now, obviously, I went ahead and mentioned that at the beginning. We'll go ahead and impact the task groups that are on Supreme, but you do also need to go ahead and select the task groups. So make sure you are doing that up here. If we X out of this, you can see that the change has been made. So that is going to go ahead and conclude this broken down overview of Zephyr AIO. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace out.